Warning, the experiments you are about to see you should not do at home. The following experiment creates a reaction in excess of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Please, if you do decide to do this, have a scientist present or someone who knows what he's doing and do it in a barren location. And no children. No children. Just be careful. In this video, you're going to see two different forms of an exothermic reaction. You're going to see thermite, which is an extremely hot reaction that turns two different minerals into a molten mess. And you're going to see another experiment called elephant's toothpaste, which turns acid and iodide into this foamy adventure. That looks like toothpaste that an elephant would use. First, we're going to start with elephant's toothpaste. Enjoy. As you just saw in Elephant's Toothpaste, um, using the iodide and the hydrogen peroxide, mm -hmm. we were able to create an exothermic reaction which gave off a lot of heat. The stuff was really hot. So the two minerals formed into a large, foamy adventure <laughs> made completely out of oxygen, which is capable of being lit and also making another amazing eruption of fire, but unfortunately we could not get that to work. Now we're going to show you what a thermite reaction looks like. Take a look. So as you saw, the thermite reaction was a little more violent. <laughs> Very violent. Much like elephant's toothpaste, it was also created mixing two minerals together, but these minerals are very, very dangerous, and to, for your safety, we are not going to tell you what the minerals were. But we can say what the result is, which is the exothermic reaction. You literally, we literally got live magma just streaming out of it melted through those pots. And as you can see from this picture, right after the reaction occurred, it immediately cooled down into a, like a, how would you rock. describe it? Like a, a like a iron, like, a rock. It was, it was, uh, very interesting to see the transformation so quickly. We used about 40 grams and it reached, uh, you, you saw what about 40 grams does, and it reached well over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned a lot. If you guys would like to see other uh, physics-related videos, you can check out Mitchell's YouTube channel. Yes, which you are on. Yeah, so obviously you know about this. And you can download the textbook and the app in the links below. The textbook, Motion and Forces on Apple's iBook Store. The app, Physics to Go on the uh, iOS Store. The app store. The app store, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This has been... Thank you for watching. <laughs> we will be following up later on, maybe, with new even more dangerous experiments.